Before we get into this, can we just take a minute and talk about ponytails? I have, I have something to say. First of all, love them because they keep my hair out of my face. Second of all, I love them because they also keep my hair out of my face when it's greasy and I haven't showered in three days. But like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when you do a ponytail, like 15 minutes in, it feels like it's trying to rip the skin off of your skull. And like that, that was me today. And I didn't want to take it down be because, <laughs> because I'm lazy. And, and now it's numb. It's numb. I don't feel anything right now, but as soon as I take down the ponytail tonight, oh boy, I'm gonna feel it. I just needed to get that off my chest today. Or like, or off my skull, or whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's pulling out my brain cells. Hello everyone, I'm here today to do another Pinterest dupes tested, and I'm so excited about this. I asked you guys in my last Pinterest dupes tested what you guys wanted me to do for this one, and I got a ton of requests for you guys wanting to see drugstore dupes for MAC products. I already had like 12 different ones pinned, so that, that part was done. So I bought a whole bunch of different stuff from the drugstore and from MAC, and now today we are going to sit down, we are going to test them all out, and we're gonna see if they are actual dupes. If you guys have any specific ones you want me to do for like another MAC dupes tested or something like that, like that let me know in the comment section below and if you see a comment don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then you know we can we can we can do some more of these because these are fun so without further ado let's get into this so for dupe number one I wanted to test out a dupe for the all the glitter shadow so this is a bestseller of max and it's this beautiful pearlized taupe color apparently a really good dupe for this is the covergirl eyeshadow in mink looking like that they look pretty much identical, so I'm going to swatch them on my hand and just see how they wear and um, see if they're a, a good dupe for each other. Oh my gosh! They're identical. So I would say the only real difference in swatching the two of them is that the CoverGirl one is not as pigmented, but it's got that same beautiful sheen to it. It's got the same color tone to it. So I think if you're applying this to the eyes and you're building up the color, I think that you'll find that these are very, very identical. And I'm gonna say this is definitely a dupe. Next up is a lipstick from MAC that is a bestseller, and that is Velvet Teddy, which is a matte nude shade, which was made popular from Kylie Jenner. And I mean, it's a really good, straight up gorgeous nude. And so Pinterest has said that the Wet n Wild lipstick in Bare It All, which is number 902C, is a dupe for it. So I'm going to test them out on my hand and see if that's actually the case. And I also want to wear them because I want to see if the consistency on the lips feel similar in any way. If I'm gonna scrutinize these colors, I'm gonna say that this one is a little bit more yellow tone, but wow, those look the same. So I'm gonna test the Wet n Wild and the MAC ones on my lips. So it is definitely creamy to apply. It does pull a little bit when I'm applying it and it does seem to settle into the lines on your lips. If your lips are dry, I feel like this won't be a really good formula for you. But in terms of the color, the color is really pretty. It looks really nice on the lips and it's not tacky in any way. It feels nice on the lips. It feels nice and creamy. Um, so, so that's really good. Now, obviously, I can't test how long it's gonna wear because otherwise, this video will be a hundred years long. So I'm gonna tell you that now. And now let's compare it to the Mac one. Like those look the same, right? They both look really, really similar. They both feel really nice on the lips. They both apply really nicely. I'm gonna say the Wet n Wild is a little bit thicker of a formula, but only if I'm nitpicking. They both feel pretty much the same, and they look the same. So. Definite do. Next up is nylon, which is one of my favorite highlights. I think it's beautiful in the inner corners of the eyes. So this is the Wet n Wild Trio, and this is in Walking on Eggshells, and apparently this highlight up here is very similar to nylon. So looking at them side by side, they look similar. I would say they don't look the same though. This one definitely has more of a yellow undertone, but they both have that nice frostiness to them, so we'll see how they actually swatch. Those are, those are identical, right? They apply the same way. They've got the same amount of pigmentation. That is, like, I really didn't think that this was gonna work as well as it did. Maybe nylon is a little bit more of a yellow undertone, but I mean, they are basically the same shade. So if you're looking for a good budget-friendly dupe for nylon, highly recommend going and checking out the Wet n Wild palette. Next up is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and you guys know I have loved this for years. I think I actually bought it because of YouTube. YouTube made me do it. It's described on the website as a gilded peach bronze, and it's just a beautiful, natural-looking highlight that's just, oh, it just sets the perfect sheen to the skin. It's super, super flattering. Apparently, there's a drugstore dupe. There's a couple of actually so I picked up one of them and we will see. This is the Hard Candy Trio in three times a charm or third times a charm? 3x a charm, I don't know. So I mean off the top obviously this is a trio and this is just one but you could see that if this was all combined together it would look very similar to this because the tones are very similar. Mm. 
there are the two of them on my hand. I can see where you're going with that. I would say that this definitely shows up a little bit darker on the skin. So if you have pale skin, I would certainly recommend the Soft and Gentle over this. This one is definitely frostier than the Hard Candy one, which I prefer for a highlight personally. So for me, not so much of a dupe. And lastly is a classic from the MAC collection, and that is the lipstick in Ruby Woo, which they call a retro matte. It is a very matte, vivid blue red. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. An apparent match for that is Revlon's Matte Lustrous Lipstick in Really Red. So this one is the MAC one and this one is Revlon and I would say that Revlon is definitely more of a warm undertone than the MAC one. So in that sense, I would say that they're definitely not a dupe. To be honest, I really like the way that this applied when it was swatched on um, my skin. It just applies very nicely. It's very creamy. So I'm gonna try these on my lips. I'm also gonna try the Maybelline Color Blur in Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. I think it's gonna be a little bit too pinky toned, but um, again, the Revlon one is a little too warm toned, so I just wanna see if one of them is better than the other one in terms of a dupe for this. Ruby Woo is kinda of standing on its own and doesn't really have a good match. I'm gonna apply it to my lips now because I wanna see if like the formula is very similar. All right, so that's what it looks like on the lips. You can see gorgeous color. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I will say that I don't love the formula. It pulls at the lips. It's really hard to um, get it to apply nicely without dragging, but it, oh, the color is so Stunning. So now I will show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two colors. I really, really like the application and the um, formula of the Revlon color a lot more than the MAC one, but you can kind of see how the two colors wear on the lips. And lastly is the Maybelline Color Blur on the lips. You can see what these three colors look like side-by-side. -side. Um, and we'll see, editing Rachel, is there a winner? Are there any dupes? I, I don't know personally, but I'm sure, I'm sure you have an opinion. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you want to see more of these Pinterest dupes or in particular MAC dupes tested, uh, if you have any requests for future dupes videos, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.